Hello, Cat Sparrow Hawk here. I want to talk about this ranged Magicka Templar build that I've been having a lot of fun with this patch. Uh, this is a Battlegrounds build. It's for update 35, the Lost Depths DLC. This build has just been a blast, so uh, let's just dive right into it. I'm using War Maiden as a front bar set, Wretched Vitality as a back bar set, Gaze of Sithis Mythic Helm, and three Willpower on the jewelry. The armor is 5 light, 1 medium, 1 heavy, 3 divines, 4 well fitted, and tri-stack glyphs on all 7 pieces. The jewelry is all swift with spell damage glyphs. The front bar weapon is a sharpened inferno staff, and the back bar weapon is a powered resto staff. A quick look at the skill bars, I'm using dark flare as the spammable, purifying light for the extra burst damage, the Javelin for the ranged unblockable stun. Radiant Oppression, aka Jesus Beam, that's our Execute. It's a very, very strong ability. It was majorly buffed this patch. Radiant Mage Light for the anti stealth and the Ice Comet Ultimate. Bat Bar is Honor the Dead, Extended Ritual, Race Against Time, Channeled Focus, Living Dark, and the Resto Ultimate. The race doesn't really matter that much. I chose Orc mainly because I like the Swift Warrior passive for that extra mobility and the extra weapon and spell damage is also nice. Uh, but really, any race will work just fine, so just use whatever you want. Using the Atronach Mundus Stone for some extra Magicka recovery, Bewitch Sugar Skulls for the food, and Tristat Potions. So let's go over the main offensive combo. Um, I'll show you without the ultimate first, then I'll show you with the ultimate. And I'm just going to demonstrate on these giants here. Um, so first, of course, you want to make sure your potion is active. Tag them with Purifying Light. Hit them with Dark Flare twice. Stun them with the Javelin. Finish them off with the Beam. Now, of course, these giant NPCs, they can't be stunned. So you'll just have to imagine if they were a player, they'd be getting stunned right there. Uh, let me show you one more time. Purifying Light, Dark Flare, Dark Flare, Javelin, Beam. And if you do it just like that, Purifying Light should pop just as you're casting that Beam, and that's exactly what you want. You want to be in the middle of channeling that Beam when Purifying Light pops, and uh, that's basically going to guarantee that, that you take your enemy out. So if you want to use the ultimate in your combo, it's basically the exact same, except you replace that second Dark Flare with the Meteor. Um, so that'll go like this. Get your potion active, purifying light, one dark flare, ultimate, javelin, beam. So that's the ultimate combo. Um, so yes, the, um, the meteor stuns itself, so stunning them with javelin may seem a little bit redundant, but the, um, the stun from the meteor is blockable and the javelin is not blockable, so you're guaranteeing um, that they're going to get stunned with that javelin and they're going to take that meteor damage without blocking it. So that, that's why we do that. As for the defensive strategy, you just want to keep your rune active at all times for your armor buff and the recovery. Keep the living dark bubble active anytime you're in combat as well. That's going to help you absorb a lot of damage. Plus, uh, it slows enemies down when they attack you. So uh, that just makes it even easier to kite. Makes it even easier to take advantage of that swift jewelry, the well-fitted armor, uh, our orc mobility passives, uh, race against time. All that stuff, we're pretty heavily invested in mobility as a defense. Um, so we definitely want to lean uh, as hard as we can on that. And that living dark bubble helps us out with that quite a bit. Uh, it's also important to prioritize group support. If you're in a situation where you can either kill an enemy or save a teammate, always choose to save the teammate. Um, because if you help them out, then they're going to be able to turn around and help you out in return, and both of you are going to be more successful in the long term uh, if you do it that way. I'll put a UESP link in the description, so if you want to take a closer look at all the details of the build, see what the fully buffed stats and all that stuff look like, um, you can do that there, uh, but otherwise that's the build. I'm just going to let some Battlegrounds footage play out for the rest of the video here just so you can see the build in action. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to share, feel free to leave a comment or email me at catsparrowhawk at gmail.com. Until next time, good luck out there.